So when I am driving in my town or in street um, and the classes with my Polaris glass on, um, the cars that is passing by uh, or they're passing on my next lane or I do see them with my rear view mirror, side view mirrors, my brain does the relative motion analysis. What is the speed of that car with respect to my car? And in dynamics, we can also do the similar analysis using the relative motion analysis. And that's exactly what we're gonna review today. It is the last session of our chapter 12 kinematics analysis of particle using relative motion analysis. So let's see what is our learning objective for today. Uh, I took my um, polarized glass off. I am in, in my office studying my relative motion analysis. Okay, so um, we're gonna talk about what is relative motion uh, analysis, how to perform analysis of relative motion. These are pretty uh, simpler, uh, easier than the last part that we had the dependent motion analysis. Uh, as long as you know your vectors uh, or remember your vectors and we'll do some problem solving. So what is a relative motion analysis? So motion of one particle relative to another particle. When we want to measure that, same as I explained, you're driving, you want to measure, you're on, you're moving and that car is also, another car is also moving. What is the relative motion about that driver is thinking what is my motion with respect to him and what is I'm thinking what is his motion compared to um, with respect to my we can um, this is an example of relative motion analysis so how can we perform relative uh, motion analysis by simply vector addition if you know uh, the position vector if you're looking for position of position particle B with respect to A, the equation is RB equals to RA minus RBA. Easier way to remember is that if you're looking for, you have to read this term as position of B with respect to A. So B will come first and A will come second and A is on the other side of the equal sign. Or another way to remember is that Position of B with respect to A is the difference between those. So RB minus RA, if I take the RA on the other side, RB minus RA would be equals to RB uh, with respect to A. And afterward, it's just simpler. If you take first derivative, you will get the velocity equation, same. And um, if you have acceleration, you will have uh, the similar equation. The problem arises when we don't know how the equation to write or for example if i want a position of or velocity of a with respect to b or b with respect to a which one to select as what um, that is kind of a, a struggle that mostly you have and other than that is just a simple algebra to solve uh, the, uh, the problem so see the procedure analysis procedure of relative velocity so see, first example, um, velocity of B with respect to A. So if we want to find the velocity of a particle B with respect to A, which is defined as BA, so this will be our velocity equation. And assume that this car, truck B, um, a lorry B, is uh, moving along this path. And there's another truck, um, is moving truck a is moving along this path the question is how can we find velocity of b so what is the velocity of b with respect to this moving car truck a you have to first start with a fixed origin so a fixed origin same as your coordinate system you have a zero fixed origin so you have to have a fixed origin since this both car of are moving you cannot have either of them as your fixed origin it has to be any other point other than that moving car that is fixed and not moving and um, so then you have to define a translating uh, origin now the question is both of the truck is moving which one should be your translating origin see we're looking for 
uh, velocity of b with respect to a. So whatever respect to whatever the particle with respect to you are measuring, that has to be translating origin. So in this case, velocity of b with respect to a, so your a would be your translating origin. Once you have figured that out, then the vector addition is simple. Um, you have to find the vector um, of each of the car or the truck from the fixed origin. So it's VA vector and VV vector. And then you have to do the uh, uh, vector addition that will give you the relative velocity of V with respect to A. Simple. Now um, let's see what if uh, we want to see different scenario where we want relative velocity. Now velocity of um, A with respect to B. Right now we have changed. Um, now we want to see what is the velocity of A and what is the driver in that truck B is seeing or observing the velocity of A with respect to B. Again, your fixed origin would be any point other than this two moving truck. And our equation just changed. We want velocity of B A with respect to B. So we will have a difference between V A minus V B. So V A, if you take the V B on the other side, minus V B. I took the V B on the other side of the equal sign. So we have that equation. We have our fixed origin. And now you see the translating origin will be with respect to B. So now it's not, this one is the translating origin or B is the translating origin because we're measuring B with respect to measuring velocity of A with respect to B, right? Again, the next is, is, is uh, simple, just your velocity vector uh, from the ori fixed origin of the truck A and B. And again, now you will have the uh, velocity of A with respect to B. So it's towards um, this direction. And this is how you uh, find the um, um, re relative velocity. And similarly, you can also find the relative acceleration. So let's see uh, an example, simple example. These problems, like I said, very easy to solve as long as you know, uh, remember your trigonometry and vector addition. So in this problem, um, find V um, AB, we have to find velocity of A with respect to B. Um, we have to find the time when boats are um, 1500 feet apart from each other. Okay. Um, relative motion, it's a relative motion problem because we're looking for velocity with respect to B. We know it's uh, there's no force involved. It belongs to kinematics analysis problem. So we have our um, decision that we're going to use um, vector addition. So we need V with respect to A, so VA minus VB. This is the, our equation. So we have to take components in rectangular coordinate system. So we have our A is at 30 degree along this. So we'll have I is your X axis. So sine 30 will be X component. Cosine 30 will be Y component. We marked it with J vector J. And for B, you'll have cosine 45 and sine 45 for your I and J. And we want velocity A with respect to B. If you just solve I, I and J, J, and then you take Pythagorean uh, formula, square, square, and then square, square, sum of squares, and then uh, square root, you'll get velocity of A with respect to B, which is 13.5 meter per second. Once you find that, our goal was, and then you can also find the angle, yeah. You can also find the angle um, theta um, as tan inverse. This is your y component, like the j component, and this is your x component, because tan inverse is dy over dx, right? So you will find 84.8 degree. And our goal was to find time when the boats, boats are 1500 feet apart. So now our fixed um, coordinate will be, um, um, one of the boats, right? So um, we have to find um, T uh, time. So our relative um, displacement is 1500. If we divided that 1500 with the relative velocity, we can find that time 111.26 seconds. 
So this is how we solve um, this problem. That was um, all about today. Um, practice more of um, similar problems. And if you have any question, just comment below and um, I will try to um, provide more um, um, information if needed. Um, I'll see you in future chapter where we're going to use uh, Newton's second law of motion, F equals to MA. But till then, um, I'll see you next uh, session.